Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover IC voltage regulators. This is one of the most important topic in linear integrated circuit or you can say op-amp. In exam, you will get at least one question from this topic. Either they will ask you to explain what is voltage regulator, what are types of voltage regulators, and what are their performance parameters, which we are going to see in the video. Or they will ask you to draw a pin diagram of 7805 or any other voltage regulator like 7812 or 7815 okay and i have seen that 7805 is the favorite ic of examiners okay and it is widely used in projects also so many of you must be already using it in your projects or mini projects or in future you will be using it so there are two types of voltage regulators fixed and adjustable in this video we are going to discuss fixed okay and under fixed voltage regulators there are positive and there are negative so first of all, what is voltage regulator? What is the definition of voltage regulator? IC, which will supply a constant voltage regardless of changes in input voltage. So it is IC that will give you constant 5 volt if you use 7805. Even if your input voltage is 9, 10, 11 volt, it will give you 5 volt at output. So regardless of fluctuations at your input side, variations in your input side, your output will be constant. And in projects or mini projects, there are multiple use cases where there is a device and you have to provide a constant voltage source to that device. So in that case, you will connect voltage regulator in between power supply and that device. So this is your power supply, this is your device and you will connect voltage regulator in between your supply and that device to make sure your device is facing no fluctuations, no variations. Now the concept is clear, you can write definition if it is asked in exam. Then along with the definition, you will have to write the features. So what are the features of IC voltage regulator? So it has internal short circuit current limiting mechanism. Then second feature is thermal shutdown. If the temperature of the IC starts increasing, it will shut itself down. Okay, it will turn it off. Then these IC voltage regulators are relatively inexpensive. Then fourth feature is there are some programmable voltage regulators available in the market which provides you programmable output. Means they provide a digital interface where you can put the data and decide the output. Okay, so that's programmable output. Then fifth feature is current and voltage boosting. So you can write these features along with the definition. Now let's discuss fixed voltage regulators. These ICs are going to provide you only one constant voltage. You cannot adjust it. Okay. So positive voltage regulator means this 7800 series. These ICs give you positive voltages. Plus 5, plus 12, plus 15, like this. And negative voltage regulators means, means 7900 series gives you negative voltage. Minus 5, minus 12, like that. So if we see in positive voltage regulator, these many ICs are available in the market. So the last two digit decides the output voltage. If it is 7806, it will provide 6 volt. If it is 7812, it will provide 12 volts. And for all these ICs, you can provide maximum 35 volts as your input voltage. Okay. And for 7824, you can provide 40 volts. Before we jump to the pin diagram, we will see some things which are required for proper operation of these ICs. Okay. In exam also, you will get this question. What all things need to be followed for proper operation of IC voltage regulators? So first thing is, common ground should be there between your input and output okay then second is difference between input and output voltage must be typically 2 volt so this difference is called dropout voltage your input voltage should be greater than your output voltage okay. so if you use 7805 ic your output will be 5 volt okay so the difference must be at least 2 volt so your input must be 7 volt so from 7 onwards, you can give 8, 9, 10, up to 35, as we saw in that table. Okay, but minimum you should provide 7 volt for a proper operation of this IC. Then third thing is CI. CI means input capacitor. CI is required if the regulator is located at considerable distance from your power supply filter. This input capacitor will be required just to filter your input signal. Then there is a capacitor at output side which is not needed but you can use it to improve your transient response. So these three things you need to make sure for the proper operation of IC voltage regulators. Now this is a pin diagram of positive voltage regulators that is 78XX series or 7800 series. There are three pins. Okay, First pin is your input, second pin is ground and third pin is output. So as you can see input capacitor is connected 
output capacitor is connected and there is common ground here there is common ground between input and output so you have to draw this pin diagram let them ask any voltage regulator 7 at 1 2 7 at 1 5 your diagram will be same here you will just replace this last two digits and the whole diagram will be same for all the positive voltage regulators if we talk about negative voltage regulators which are 79 series 79 xx or 79 00 here there is one change first and second pins are interchanged in positive voltage regulator first pin was input and your second pin was ground now they are interchanged your first pin is ground and second pin is input if we see what all negative voltage regulators are available in the market they are pretty similar to positive voltage regulator but there are two extra ICs present here 7902 and 7905.2 so here also concept is same the last two digits indicating your output voltage then in exams they ask you what are the different performance parameters of voltage regulators which decides how good or bad is your voltage regulator so we will quickly go through these tiny definitions first is line regulation input regulation it is change in output voltage for a change in input voltage how much change is there in your output voltage due to the change in input voltage that is your line regulation it is expressed in millivolts or percent of output voltage ideally it should be minimum or it should be zero because regardless of your input voltage variations fluctuations your output voltage should not change okay so there should be zero change ideally then the second definition is second performance parameter is load regulation this is defined as change in output voltage for a change in load current again this should be minimum ideally it should be zero okay the third definition is temperature stability you can call it average temperature coefficient of output voltage it is defined as change in your output voltage per unit change in temperature so even if there is variations in your temperature your output voltage should not change it is expressed in millivolts per degree centigrade and fourth definition is ripple rejection it is measure of regulator's ability to reject ripple voltages if there are ripples in your input voltage how much that voltage regulator is able to reject is ripple rejection parameter it is expressed in decibels the smaller the values of these four parameters the better the regulator so that's all for the fixed voltage regulators so in this video we covered concept of voltage regulators what are fixed and adjustable voltage regulators then positive and negative voltage regulators we saw the pin diagrams then performance parameters then there is one more topic using voltage regulators as a current source which i will be covering in the next video so that's all for this video i hope you have liked this video if you have understood this video like this video share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you